Monday. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, get out of here. My little clothing rack's trying to sneak and tell you what I'm doing. Uh, this is uh, one of a multi-part video that I'm doing showing you guys some different styles from Abercrombie. So we did a video about wedding guest dresses and uh, the other hot topic that people are starting to ask me about, which is freaking me out because I don't even think I'm ready, is jean shorts if you are new to my channel hi i'd love to know how you found it and if you end up sticking around please introduce yourself below if you are a returning bff thank you so much for being here it means the world to me i'm a little more scared in some ways and less scared in some ways of the jean shorts circuit this year last year i did a lot of try-ons uh, of denim shorts i did good american i did american eagle i did frame and zara and this year um we're kicking things off early and uh, we're getting a head start on spring and i'm combining two of my most requested videos from you guys one being jean shorts for curvy girls and tall girls and the other being um abercrombie you guys can't seem to get enough of abercrombie and i agree they have such great stuff all the time really happy with the time and care and effort they've put into understanding the curvy body and accommodating that and it you know obviously they have a reputation for not doing that but i think they've done a really beautiful job of um completely changing their image and that's pretty cool so i think that um they've been doing a great job and i've been loving loving their denim so i'm very curious to see how their jean shorts fit if you guys have been watching me for a while and i am very open about this i've gained weight like in the past few months and um so when i was trying on all the zara shorts and all the stuff last summer feel free to reference those videos i don't weigh myself it's just a part of my um like ed recovery um and just my own mental health it's just something that i've decided a long long time ago that i was just not going to weigh myself because it's just not healthy for me and it's everybody has their own thing that works for them that's totally fine but so i actually can't quantify what's going on all i know is that i was pretty solid 14 and now i'm like between 14 16 still 14 in some things but 16 in others so i'm just not sure i've been ordering i was ordering 32s before an abercrombie i've been ordering 33s sometimes they're too big so i think i'm like right between the two sizes so it's a little iffy i ordered everything in a 33 just to be safe because i'd rather have the jean shorts be like a little loose and casual chill girl vibes so i'm hoping that they fit but i'm a little nervous all that to say no matter how many years you've been working in body positivity well i don't even know if you want to call it that body neutrality body acceptance no matter how many years i've been modeling or wearing underwear or swimsuits in front of the camera like it's still it's one of those things that never leaves you so if you are on a journey of learning to love and accept your body whether you find yourself in a new body in a new size or whether it's something that you've been working on that you just haven't quite gotten there please know that it's a journey and even those of us who show up on the internet you know and look or seem like the most confident versions of ourselves everybody has body hang-ups my friends that are like straight size like size two size zero size four models legit beautiful like you would think there's like how could you have anything to complain about your body still feel that way still find looking at photos of themselves tough etc so it is a universal thing and i think the more that's what i love about the idea of body acceptance over body positivity is that we just accept where we are today and we treat our bodies with love as if we love them and our bodies kind of meet us in the middle to match and so part of it is retraining your brain and part of it is part of it is how your body responds when you start truly loving it so anyway that's my spiel uh let's get into this denim shorts try on i'm gonna grab a few of the ones just to show you guys don't look at the wedding guest dresses that's a different video so i got the dad short in a high rise in a black because everyone wants a black jean short i know i'm trying to like run the gamut of what people were asking for these are longer so this is the dad short high rise this is the curve love and this is a bit of a longer inseam so this is for my tall girls or people that don't want super short shorts and we have the uh four inch mom short high rise so again not super duper short um this one's got more of that distressing and then finally we're doing the mid-rise mom short this one isn't going to be quite as high and this is going to be a shorter if you're looking for a true traditional like short short cut off vibe so let's get into it i'm like stalling because i'm not wanting to put on the shorts but guess what i'm doing this for you okay all right so i put on an abercrombie bodysuit um they have these two ribbed well they, i don't know how many colors they have they probably have black or something too but they have these ribbed bodysuits right now that i'm loving they're like very stretchy and cozy i thought that i would just wear the white one so that i was essentially wearing all these jeans jean shorts with the same top that was like a tank top so it wouldn't be distracting so the first pair i'm going to try on is the dad short this is the curve love and this is a high rise and i'm trying it on in a 33 
which is equivalent to a 16. So this has that famous like V that my, the jeans I post about, you guys lose your freaking mind every time I post these jeans. This has that same V and so I'm hoping that it makes my body look just as snatched as the jeans does. All right, update. We got that little button out. It was just like a little tight. There was like a little weird string or something. Okay, so I'm putting these on. Good news is it's not giving me that stress, immediate stress where I'm like, oh, I gotta squeeze into them. So that's good. It's so far really quite comfortable and stretchy and not stressful. I need. I think I need to have some moment with the mirror. Let me have my own consulting with the mirror. These are oh, I she, love that. She, she made the same face. Her jaw dropped. That's exactly how I want them. This is so... Oh, this is very good news for spring, spring, summer. We might survive the season after all. Holy crap, these look great. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. I'm like sweating. Look at this. They look so freaking good. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, surprise, <laughs> these are amazing. <gasps> what a great way to start the freaking haul out. If nothing else fits, I won't even be mad because I have these. So yeah, that like V, whatever that little thing is, really creates the illusion of like snatching in the waist. I have a very high waist and very long legs. So I have a short torso. And so anything that really helps like snatch that in is helpful for me. Um, but these look great. I love the way they feel and fit. They're so comfortable. Um, I think this is like the perfect size because they're like, they're not too tight. Like they feel very relaxed, which is great and surprising. And I love it. They're not too short in the back, but they don't feel like dorky. Like, you know, I feel like I don't love it when the length is too awkwardly long. Like, it just never works for me at that point. I'm like, you might as well wear jeans. Um, but that's just my opinion. But I think they still read as like a short short, but they don't, they, they don't like, Cause I, you know, this is just a very sensitive area and sometimes I don't want to show it. Eee! I'm so happy with these. I could actually. So this is the dad short. Let's try the, so I have two mom shorts, two dad shorts. I don't quite know the difference, TBH, um, whatever. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we also got this high rise dad short. So this is a cutoff version. Uh, we got the dad short. Uh, curve love in with the same snatchy button moment, but this one does not have like the distressed ends These are just regular and they're black. So let's see if we like them as much to Experience a short that allows a room in the thighs when you're curvy That's like a little loose is like a breath of fresh air It's like one of those things that you might take for granted if you don't have thighs but I haven't been comfortable in shorts in years. And the closest I found were the Zara ones last year, but they still were clearly not built for curvy bodies. And knowing that these were, these are the Curve Love that were built for curvy bodies, like they know what they're doing and they get it. Look at this. There's like room. Look at, there's like actual room so that they can look loose and relaxed and not like my body is like busting out of them all the time. It feels so good to have jeans fit me right. Jean shorts, like, gosh, darn it, I'm happy. <laughs> this is just like one of those things that it's like, you know, you never know until you know, like you don't know, like all of your pictures are fuzzy and then you clean your freaking iPhone screen and you're like, whoa, everything's so crystal clear. Um, I don't know if that analogy hit, but it did for me. Anyway, so these are the uh, dad or mom. I already got confused. These are the dad short high rise in uh, the 33 as well. Again, like enough room around the waist that they're comfortable, but they're not gapping. Um, so they're great. They have room here on the thighs. Here's the front side back i'm so happy so we're two for two you all two for two this is good this is very good okay let's try the next pair on now we're moving on to the mom the mom short these are a mid-rise so that means they're not gonna be quite as high and they also are shorter it's probably the shortest inseam that i got which is that true so if you don't have such long legs like wearing shorter things because i know that that's true for quite a lot of us um these might be a good pick i like a traditional true cutoff I, even though I don't always love showing as much here, to me, I almost think it looks like dorkier or not. It doesn't quite look as polished and it just looks a little awkward when jeans shorts are too long, which is why I think they've nailed these because they're like that perfect length. I'm just not a Bermuda short girl and I'm sorry for those of you that are. Good for you, it just doesn't suit me and I don't feel good in them. And we all just need to figure out what works for us and do it and not worry about what other people think, what the styles say, etc. I'm gonna quit blabbing and we're gonna try on the mom shorts. I feel like I'm living in the twilight zone or in an alternate dimension because I'm pretty sure jean short videos are supposed to be full of tears, disappointment. No, especially when they're short shorts. Like how can I actually like these? Oh, I'm blown away. I don't really, I don't have the words. These are so freaking cute. They look so 
good. I'm a little like, I don't always love like this area, right? Cause it's like, it's a sensitive area for many of us. And it's where I like hold my little extra chub and cellulite and blah, blah, blah. But who gives a freak? These look so good. I do, I just think there's something sexy about a short pair of shorts. So if you're in the market for a bit of a shorter short or you have shorter legs or you love like, I know so many girls that have such beautiful like solid thick thighs that are like so strong and I would totally show those off. So um, here's the side. Here's the back. I think what I'm noticing the most about these is that they have been cut for the extra volume that many curvy women have here. And they don't do this thing where they like most shorts like do this kind of thing. These remain flat and like give you the look. Like they look like how jean shorts look on smaller, thinner girls, but just on a bigger body. And that's like, <sighs> Refreshing. How hard is it to get that? I just thought it was impossible. I thought that it defied the laws of physics, but apparently Abercrombie's done their research and their work and their footwork and they figured it out. So, you know, maybe they could apply that same thing to solving all kinds of other world problems. I don't know. Feels like science at its finest. I'm very happy with these. They look so good. I just can't believe we're like three for three, three for three. Comment below and let me know your favorite. Um, I totally know that a lot of people don't want shorts this short. I like them. I feel sexy. I feel cute. These would be perfect for like the lake, the summer, running around. Um, the mid rise, so this actually truly does rise around my belly button, whereas the high rises rise above about like maybe an inch or so above the belly button. They don't have that like V, so, but I really, really like them. I think they look great. Uh, and the last pair we're gonna try on is also a mom short. This is a high rise, so we're back to high rise. And this is the four inch mom short, which means that they have a four inch inseam. It looks a little shorter than that, but I believe them because yeah. So that is gonna be, these are gonna be a little bit longer. And since they're high rise, I'm hoping that these flare out. Like I'm thinking, oh, they have a little cut at the side too. So these might be a little bit more like, excuse me, cheese, like a, a loose casual kind of fit, but we're gonna find out. All right, I haven't even looked at these in the mirror yet. Maybe I should do that so I can like actually get my commentary. <gasps> cute, cute, cute. Love, love, love. I love. This is just basically like a tiny bit longer version of the ones that we just had on that, like I said, so my belly button is here. These are about an inch above the belly button. So um, oh, they just look so good. They create like this perfectly like flat canvas here that looks like just, I don't know, you know, like there's no nothing to distract the eye with like weird bunching or like stuff happening. Like it... They, they flare enough and they give this little like side panel so that it glides easily over and it doesn't like hike up. Oh, these are so good. They just look like I'm not fighting to get out of them. Like I think that that's my biggest complaint being curvy with shorts and why I haven't worn them in years is because it, they always look uncomfortable. Like you see someone wearing them and they don't even look comfortable in them. So you know that they're not. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> anyway, I just, it's just for me, I haven't seen a pair look like very super sleek and sophisticated very often. Like girls look super hot in them, but I'm like, yeah, are you comfortable though? So these look to me like I want it to look effortless. Like the whole point of jean shorts is the vibe of like, like, oh, okay, and just I threw on a tee and jean shorts, and I'm just so like casual and low-key. That's the vibe for me. So I actually think these kind of look like that. So these are the four-inch high-rise mom short. I'm wearing a 33 and everything. I think it's the absolute perfect size. Um last year I may have been like a 32, but it doesn't matter. We don't need to compare ourselves to our past selves. I'm just like in my mind, like wondering. I'm just like trying to understand because these actually fit so perfectly and effortlessly. I was trying to decide, like, would I even size up? from here if you wanted that really relaxed fit. I think that they would be too shapeless. I'm very happy about our first shorts haul of the season. I think they look so good. Order true to size. Check the size charts. Um, I'm just very, very happy with how they all fit. I've noticed so um, the mom shorts seem to run a little smaller than the dad shorts, just FYI. The Curve Love is definitely cut for curvy bodies. So if there are other shorts and they don't say Curve Love, they might run differently. That would just mean that they were graded on a model who is like a standard size, like 024 or something like that. And just, they just keep making the measurements go up to it whatever size versus actually grading and like creating the pattern and fitting on a curvy body to begin with. That's the difference. That's how you know, like that's why they make the waist a little smaller. There's a little bit more room through the hip and thigh. There is a big difference between clothes that were cut for curvy and clothes that weren't. So if you are mid-size curvy or like on the lower end of plus, like anywhere from like 12, 14, 16, but curvy, I would definitely recommend checking out Curve Love. If you're more of like an 810 and not quite as curvy, you'd be totally fine with Abercrombie standard sizes, but I'm obviously just reviewing what we're for my body and my measurements are below if that's helpful and I just love these I'm so so excited it just feels good to feel free for shorts and swim season like even though I'm not as comfortable in my body as I was last year like it's just like I've lost strength 
I've just started working out again. It feels really good to do that. Um, but you know, you just like notice that you feel like less like definition in your arms and whatever. And it's like, I totally like, it's okay that your body fluctuates, but your clothes are made to fit you and not the other way around. So don't get down about it. Just order a freaking size up and live your life and be happy and find clothes that were created for curvy bodies. If that's what that suits you best. I have been able to let go of that for the most part. So I'm okay shopping at any store. And if it fits, it fits. I don't look at the label, whatever. Um, but that's a very personal decision for you. And whatever works for you, I support as long as you support yourself. So thanks so much for being here. This was a very encouraging, positive freaking haul and I'm happy. So let me know what else you guys wanna see. Do you have any other brand of jean shorts you want me to try? Do you have any other categories of clothing you want me to try? Um, I hope that the tips here helped you. I will link everything below. And as always, you can follow along over my Instagram and my TikTok for um, how I might end up styling these on the day to day or, um, you know, other roundups of things. So yeah, check that out. You can also follow me on LTK. That's below too. My like to know it is where I post pretty much everything that I find that I think you guys need to know about. And I just wanna thank you guys for sticking around, for being a part of this channel. I'm having this moment right now where I'm remembering doing jean short hauls for you all a year ago and realizing that I've been doing this consistently for over a year, which is huge. I started this channel in like 2016 and like barely posted. And now all of a sudden in the past year, I feel like I've gotten to know some of you and you guys keep showing up and that keeps me showing up and it's been such a beautiful journey. And even to be able to look back and like see, like last year was the first year that I really embraced wearing jean shorts again and now to see that my body's fluctuated and changed and I can still love and accept and dress it lovingly like that's all we can really ask for you know life changes our bodies fluctuate life's too short to not feel good in your clothes and to feel good about yourself and to treat yourself with love and kindness so anyway just saying that for myself as much as I'm saying it for you guys if you're new here and you liked this video please uh, subscribe hit that bell so you never miss a video and if you're a returning BFF I really appreciate you being here it means more to me than you could ever know I'll catch you guys in the next video